Maharba everybody, Maharba everybody, Maharba, Maharba, Maharba. Maharba means hello in Arabic. Hugs, hugs, kiss, kiss. We love you. Today we are going to take us a trip because we're going to go sightseeing around the country. So I got my backpack on. Let's go. I'm going to read you a story. It is called In Our Country. And the author is the person that writes the words. Yes. Today's author is Susan Canazaris. But oh, look at this, friends. Do these pictures look like drawings? Mm -mm. So, there was a photographer who took pictures and his name is Daniel Morton. So again, the title is In Our Country. This is a map of our country. Hey, we got one of these at our school. In some parts, there are forests. Oh, like the redwood forest in California. And guess what? These trees are the tallest living things in the whole world. In others, there are deserts. Oh, look at that. Like the desert called Death Valley in California. In some parts, there are beaches like Myrtle Beach or Laguna Beach or Waikiki Beach. In others, there are marshes, like in the Everglades in Florida. Marshes are sort of like swamps. I don't know if I want to go there. They might have alligators or crocodiles. In some parts, there are rivers. Oh, like... Um, the longest river in our country is called the Mississippi. And then we've got the river called the Ohio River. In others, there are lakes like the Great Lakes that borders the country of Canada and then Michigan and Illinois. In some parts, there are canyons, like the Waimea Canyon in Kauai, where they filmed the Jurassic Park, and the Grand Canyon. In others, there are prairies, like in the Midwestern states. Prairies are known for their um, wheat, do you remember the little red hen, how she found some seeds and she grew them and then all of a sudden wheat came up and she took it to the mill to make flour and then she made some bread? Well, the Midwestern states are called the bread basket of the country. In some parts, there are snow-covered mountains, like the Appalachians, and of course, the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. You ever heard that song, Rocky Mountain High? Man, that's a way back old song. Rocky Mountain High. Let's 
take care of our whole country. Look, what are they going to be doing? Looks like they're going to be planting something. What do you think that is? Did you like that book about our country? When we go sightseeing around the country, we need to make us a camera. So this is what I have. Piece of foil, a soap box, a chip, pair of scissors, double-sided tape, tape, a sponge, and stickers. All right, I'm gonna show you how we make us a camera. So we're gonna take our box and we're going to tape it. Then I'm going to wrap it up in foil, just like it's a present. Guys, let's play us a game. This is called Take Away, Monster Take Away. And what I have is my tin frame and some Play-Doh, which I made into itty bitty balls. And then I place them on my tin frame. And what we're gonna do is we're going to try and figure out what 10 take away six means. When you see this, that's the symbol for tick away or minus. So let's make sure that we have 10 balls first. So here are my balls and I put them on my 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So it says here 10 minus six or i can read it like this 10 take away six and since this is a monster i am going to act like a monster and i'm going to smash these balls but how many balls would i have to smash six so here we go one two three four five six i smashed six balls so how many balls do i have left let's count it one two three four oh so ten take away six is four let's do another one Here we go. I put five balls because this number says five, you're right. Oh, how cute, it's a lovey-dovey monster. So we're gonna have five balls. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. And it says here five, take away three. So come on, lovey-dovey monster, let's smash three balls one two three how many balls do i have left let's see one two so five take
take away three equals two. You got it. Okay, so what I want you to do is, I want you to try these equations. Eight, take away four. And seven, take away five. And if you don't have any Play-Doh, I'm going to send you a recipe so your mom can make you some Play-Doh. Have fun smashing the monster balls. All right, so what, what we're going to do is I'm going to use position words to tell you guys different movements to do. Are you ready? Yes, yes. ma'am. All right, Lexi and Shay bend to the left. Now bend to the right. Now, Lexi, go stand in between Devlin and Shay. All right, now, Lexi, go stand behind Shay. Devlin, go stand in front of Shay. Does anybody on the carpet have anything that they want to tell them to do? Brayden? Dev and Shay spin around four times. Anybody else on the carpet have something to say? Bryce? Can you three spread out? And then Shay and Dev jump up three times. Devlin, go stand next to Lexi. Good job. You guys did so good. was an awesome trip. I got so many pictures. I hope you learned something today. Hmm, what did you learn? You know Miss Judy's gonna ask. But remember, play nice, stay kind, and work hard. Make the most of your mind.